So I have been creating art specifically with the techniques I've been playing with for over a year now. And this is what I call the gallery. And it's starting to get a little crowded. But I am actually amazed at all the pieces. So I thought I'd give you a tour. And this is just, there is no method to the madness of how any of this is displayed. It's really where I can have space. So this is one that I've done recently and I'm really in love with some of the colors like that deep deep blue I've been doing a lot of blues lately um, not that I'm feeling blue I've just been doing a lot of blues this is one that I did you know a, a while ago these are two they're actually pretty large chakra paintings and they're not meant to go together I just put them there so that you could see the uh, the difference in in size it's actually kind of cool looking together, but I call it mama chakras and baby chakras. That's actually not really what they're called, but just next together, that's, that's what I have. And then some more, some more beachy, some more like that blue teal. That's one I did a while ago, but again, I just really love it. This one is just one of the more interesting ones that I've done. And um, because it was just so different, I decided to keep it because sometimes I don't like what I've done and I paint over it or scrape it. This is another chakra series or series in the chakra whatever the vein. Um, it's probably meant more to be horizontal but again it's displayed because of how I have the space. This is a newer one. I call it field of or a flight of dragons because when I did this they all look like dragons of course I tend to really like dragons so everything looks like a dragon to me this is one that I did when I did the Myersville and Winter series with blue white and silver and I decided to do purple white and silver I'll go up and show the winter in Myersville right now I really just love how those turned out. And then you can see I've also done vases. Um, there's some 3D embellishments or 3D-like embellishments. There's paintings behind paintings, in front of paintings. <laughs> um, really liked how this turned out. I have cards from this series because it is, um, one, it looks like a card, but I just I thought it was really cool. And then behind it is one of my favorite pieces because um, I just love how it looks like a woman entering the threshold. I think that's what it's called is entering the threshold. Just really, really liked that. And then I've got copper, purple, teal. That's the, um, it's like, what's that? Peacock, like a peacock series. Um, more copper and then you can see all these little pieces of wood like these are yeah I have paint left over and I can't just waste it so I pour on pieces of wood on rocks and these I give away as little gifties when people purchase some of my artwork uh, that one back there is um, one of the first trees I did with this particular technique and then its companion with a little bit of vase shadows on it is fairy forest. And then you can see again some of the vases. This was one of the first techniques I did with a swipe technique and oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with it. It's this thin piece of plywood and could maybe make it into a tray, I don't know, but I love how it looks like fire. And then tucked in here, probably can't see it very well. I think it's this is a series called What Lies Hidden in the Grass. There's a series of three wooden panels. And again, I just I put art pieces wherever I can find the room. Poor Mark has to keep building me stuff. And then this is oh, there's a tree in front of it. Let's move that tree for now. This was a technique that I played with, like a beach at sunset. So it's those three. The one at the bottom is supposed to be a 
the beach, the one in the middle is the the deep blue of the sea, and then the top is the, the sunset. It didn't quite turn out the way that I had in my head, but I loved that top one so much, so I kept it just because of that one. And then this is another tree. I love this one. Um, call it Tree of Life, hashtag hope. I did it on January 1st this year because I've had a lot of hope for a better year this year for all of us. And then these are just some kind of random other pieces. I really like that. It's got my purple, greens, and blues palette that I love. A couple of vortex ones that I call, especially that one on the bottom. That's created when I pour a vase on top of a canvas and it has this really neat effect. The two in the back there I call Alaska 1 and 2. I was going for the landscape with the paint pour and then when I put them together, kind of like I did with the Chakra Mama and Chakra Baby over there, it's like, oh those look really good together because you can see how it kind of moves in there. Some vases. I really love pouring the vases because they're really cool. Although the one thing I don't like is usually the bottom looks really cool because it has it gets the cells and they don't they don't stretch out so the bottoms are actually this this neat thing i just found this one i don't remember this but i was like oh i love that one don't know that i'll ever give that one away or sell it because it's got my favorite colors on it almost knocked over the base that would have been fun not let's see just some more pieces with the wooden um, the wooden pieces, sometimes they work really well as trays. So you can see there's another tray over there. There's this one going. You've got my shadow there. Some of them are very highly glossed, so they're very reflective. Let's see, there's some purple. Down here we've got, um, see, that one's a vortex one too, if I can get it without it reflecting too much. And the vase that I poured on top of it is right on front call that one chakra bubbles if you know anything from this video you know I like chakras and I like dragons uh, let's see let's see there's a lot oh those are spring dragons because um, those again look like dragons really cool pieces this was actually one great big piece this and then the three pieces behind it were all one big piece but it unfortunately warped and so we cut it so that it wouldn't be warped I just, I just, I'm in love with just some of these designs. And then I got some series of purple. Not, it's not yellow, but it looks like it with the light. And then these are these great big ones that I was trying for, I was trying for a logo for some friends of ours. Their colors of their logo, and then I was going to superimpose or draw their actual logo on top, and it didn't work. But these were so cool. I was like, all right, I, I like that anyway. And then you got that purple one. And then this is, we actually made a um, six foot, four six foot by two foot panels in our logo colors for Zoom backgrounds. That's not for sale though, because um, we, we paid for that. <laughs> the business paid for that. So this is the gallery. Most of this is up on the Etsy site, www dot south mountain crafts with an s at the end dot com if you see something you like check it out if you want better pictures than what you see on etsy ask me and i also do custom orders so if there's something there that uh, you think that i might be able to create a color palette something else just let me know and mark wants me to note those but those aren't finished and therefore they aren't for sale yet um don't know if they ever will be because i might keep them i actually do keep some of my own art anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it take care